Let's make gluten-free crepes that are delicious on their own or can be filled with all the fillings you desire. Crepes are a very popular snack in Japan. You'll be surprised to find creperies at every tourist destinations, shopping malls, and amusement parks where kids hang out. You get to choose whatever filling you want and they wrap it up nice and pretty for you. The crepe acts as wrap and the filling is the star of this snack. Now, as much as I enjoy banana and cream or strawberries and cream, I crave for something a little more simple. I also want the crepe to shine on its own too. So here's a recipe for gluten-free rice flour crepes that you can enjoy on its own or with filling sweet or savory as you wish. The recipe is in the description box, so be sure to check it out. In the video, I will show you a series of small tricks that guarantee success every time. Let's start with white rice flour. For the best result, you'd want to use the extra fine rice flour. We're very fortunate as rice is the major crop in Japan and the technology to mill the grain super fine is well developed. If you can't find extra fine rice flour, the crepes may taste a little grainy, but they'll be delicious nonetheless. Other than rice flour, this simple recipe calls for sugar, an egg, milk of your choice, and a bit of oil. For the oil, use the oil that has no flavor. I like to use refined coconut oil from a trusted source or white sesame oil, which have no flavor or smell. You can also use unsalted butter melted. In a bowl, whisk an egg until smooth. Add milk and whisk well. In a separate bowl, combine rice flour and sugar. Make a well in the center. Here, add the egg and milk mixture you've prepared in four or five small increments. So what you're doing is add small amount of liquid, slowly incorporate the dry, mix well, then add a little more liquid, incorporate a little more dry, and repeat until all the liquid and the dry are well combined. By slowly mixing them together, the batter will be smooth with no lumps and there will be no need for straining the batter. One less dish to wash. Lastly, add oil and whisk. The batter is done. Let's prepare the pan. Heat a nonstick pan over medium heat. I'm using a 24 cm nonstick pan. Sometimes I use 20 cm pan if I want to make smaller sized crepes. Since I'm using a nonstick pan, I need to brush with some oil before it gets too warm. When the pan is hot enough, place it on a wet cloth to temper the pan. Whisk batter again right before ladling. And pour into pan just enough to cover the bottom. Swirl the pan immediately. Cook on medium heat for a minute or two until the edges start to dry and lift away from the pan. Flip it over and cook for another minute. You can cook a little longer if you want more browning. Repeat, brush with oil, heat the pan, Place it on wet cloth, whisk or mix batter, mm -hmm. 
ladle into pan, swirl the pan, cook. Flip and cook. I urge you to try them while they are still slightly warm. My favorite is with a dab of butter, sprinkle of sugar, and zest of lemon. Roll it up and eat. This is really delicious. You can also enjoy it the Japanese way with cream and banana and all nicely wrapped up. On weekend, I make crepes for lunch. Just prepare a simple spread of sweet and savory fillings with different kinds of condiments. It's a smorgasbord of crepes and it's really fun. When I have leftover crepes, I keep them in an airtight container in the fridge. And I just heat it up right before eating. Alright, I'm done filming, so it's time for me to relax with my dog. Come on, Tommy. Sit with me. No, you're not having the crepe. That's for me. Thanks for watching, you guys.